Hello, my name is Jason Kent. I'm with Seattle Fire Department Ladder Company 5. This is my live find search dog, Cannon. Cannon, sit. Cannon, sit. Good boy. We're gonna go through some demonstration. We're gonna begin by doing some basic obedience. Uh, this is used just to keep the dog under control uh, when he wants to listen. Sometimes he gets a mind of his own, but this is done to keep some control of the dog. And then we'll move on to some other tasks. Cannon, heel. Okay, sit. Stay. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Stay. 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 Sit. Heel. Get heel. Good boy. Get on, heel. Heel. Stay. Heel. 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 Sit. Down. Stay. The next thing I'll demonstrate is called a drop on recall. This would be used if we were calling our dog to us and we discovered something that was a danger or an emergency that we want our dog to stop and maybe lay down. Stay. Come. Cannon, stay. Down. Stay. Come. Good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Good boy, bud. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Cannon, heel. Heel. Sit. Down. Down. Stay. The next thing I'm gonna demonstrate is what we call directionals. I'm gonna demonstrate by using these black and yellow bins and move cannon between those bins using some commands. This would be used for if we needed to control our dog in a search area that we weren't able to get on or if they were away from us. And we do this with a series of hand and voice commands. Cannon, heel. Cannon, out. Good boy, good boy. Cannon, over, up. Good boy, buddy, good job, good job. Over, up. Good boy, out, up. Stay, good job, bud. Cannon, sit. Sit. Good boy. In. Up. Stay. Come. Good boy. Uh oh. Good job. Good job, buddy. Woo, buddy. Good boy. Good job. Oh, yes. Good boy. Another aspect of our training is agility. So we a lot of times have a lot of equipment like tunnels, a ladder like you see behind me here. And the purpose of all this stuff is to get the dog used to um, experiences and scenarios and equipment and challenges and obstacles that they might encounter during a search of like a collapsed building or something like that. So what we're gonna simulate here is I'm gonna have Cannon climb this ladder up on top of ladder five. I'll give him a few commands on our way down and then we'll have him jump down to the ground. Cannon, you ready? Come on, heel, bud. Cannon, ladder. Go ahead, ladder, climb it, bud. Good boy, climb it. Good boy, stay. Good job, bud. Here's a little treat, bud. There you go, bud. Cannon, walk it. Cannon, turn. 
Down. Good boy. Good boy. Walk it. Turn. Stay. Walk it. Hop. Stay. Okay, hop. Down. Good job. Good job, bud. Lower. Lower. Down. Oh, come here. Down. Lower. Come here. Turn. Up. Down. Good boy. Good job. Stay. Come. Good job, buddy. He is a good boy. Was that fun? Good boy. All right. Good job. Okay, this is gonna be a demonstration on how the search dog works. He's gonna search the parking lot. When he finds the person hidden, he'll bark five to 10 times. He's already excited. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, ready to go search? Search. Dog working. Oh, there you go, bud. All right. Good job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Was that fun? Oh, good boy. That's pretty much his favorite uh, toy and his favorite thing to do is tug. And that's what he's working for when he's looking, uh, searching for somebody. Obviously, in a real scenario, the handler would have the toy, and the handler would be the one to reward if it was if it was uh, required that the actual victim wouldn't be able to do that. So that's what a uh, search dog does. Thanks for watching.